Hello, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Hola. How are you here? <laughs> Fine, and you? Good, here, waiting for you. How was your weekend? Fine. Fine, fine. Uh, okay. Relax. Okay. And, ay, wait, wait, wait. Pedro Ángel? Do I have a Pedro Ángel? Do we have a Pedro Ángel, Brenda? I don't know. <laughs> Do I have a Peter? Hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. Uh oh, I don't know. Who are you, Peter? Juanito, hello. Ah, yes, we have a Pedro Angel right here. I didn't remember. <laughs> I was like, Pedro, Pedro, who is Pedro? Now I know. Juanito. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, teacher. Hey, man. How are you? Fine, fine, teacher. Excellent. Jorge Gutierrez is here, too. Okay, guys. I hope you had a really nice weekend. Hot because it's hot now. Yes, and mostly on Saturday and yesterday, Sunday was a little bit warm, but today again we have a lot of sun. Okay. Eh, Jorge, Jorge Antonio, yes? Yes. Okay. Nice. Well, we'll have another girl coming in. Her name is Diana Yatsil Reyes Reyes. I don't know what time she's coming in. All right, but she's also in the group. Uh, she just joined to this. All right, let me remember where we stopped last time. Ah, yes. Well, the last topic that we were checking, Juan, Brenda, Jorge, and Peter, yes, inversion. Now, first is the verb, and the second is the subject. And we apply this uh, for questions, using prepositions, using negative words, uh, with conditionals, and the last, with comparison. Okay, Peter, yes. Okay, with comparative, so comparison. 
Okay, and then, like I told you, today, yes, we will have two exams. One exam that is related to this inversion. Yes, verb and a subject. Yes, where it is an application. Yes, and another one that is the general exam. General exam, okay? Okay. General exam. The general exam is with all the skills. With all the skills, all right? One, two, 19. One, two, 19. Okay, so ready students? Ready guys? Yes. Okay, wait for, for Ayoman is coming in. Okay, in the meantime, remember that this is the, for some students, the ones who only accept to be in this course only one month, this is the final week, students. All this the is the final? Yes, man. Other students will continue the next week. Okay, yes, we have already finished four weeks. Very fast. Very fast. Yeah, super fast. All right, so some students will continue with the next course, obviously the, the next week. Others, well, I don't know, maybe you, you'll have your exam. Yes, and well, the point is that you pass it, okay? What page? Okay, now Peter is ready and the rest also. Ready. 140. 140. 140. When you are there, let me know. <clears throat> Okay, ready. Ready, okay. In the 140, you have one exam. That is the skills, exercise skills 15 to 19. And I told you, this exam, I don't, I don't usually do it because it's a repetition. Again, my, my objective is that you present the professional exam. And the professional exam is the one that is in the middle. TOEFL exercise skills 15 to 19. Yes, there? Yes, teacher. Ok. Este ejercicio está como a la mitad. Ok. Yes. Well. There, you have sentences and you have to select A, B, C, or D. Remember to complete the sentences. Only with inversion, students. Where you see that is the application of inversion. First is the verb. The second one is the object or subject. Yes? Other sentences. Eh, where there is not application of, of verb and a, and a subject, well, apply the normal form, subject and a verb. All right, so there are 10 sentences. One, two, three, four right there. Uh, turning to the page 141, you have the rest to the 10. Hey, teacher. Okay, so let's start. One, two, and three. Thank you. 
Uh, Galaxy Core is who are you? Well, I don't know who Galaxy Core is. We are in page 140 and 141. The TOEFL exercise.
César Cruz. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Hey, hello. Good afternoon, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bearing page 140, 141. Yes, the TOEFL exam. Skills, okay. one, skills uh, 15 to 19. You finish? Finish. Finish? Right. All of you finish? Wow. Finish. Brenda. Yes, teacher. Manny. Galaxy and Peter. Not yet. Not yet? Okay. I remember that, but that one was homework. Okay, Peter, not yet. I finish. All right. I'm just waiting just for Peter because he's asking me a few more minutes. I think. Okay, teacher. Okay, let me see the message. Finish, okay. So let's check. The number one, what you need is dinosaur. Two, A. Three, A. Four, C. Five dinosaur, six book, seven C, eight C. Nine C and ten book. Okay, so count the thick ones. Teacher. Yes. My score is five out of five of ten. <laughs> okay, five in the middle. Yes, teacher, the middle. Taking in consideration that this topic for you was was 
difficult to comprehend. What about the other? Five. five two. Ay, Juanito, you cut off. Can you repeat? Five. Five, okay. The same. Brenda? Five, the middle. The middle, yes. Four. Four. Giovanni? Six, six. Peter, okay. Six, Giovanni? Yes. Okay. Uh, and who is missing? Peter already told me. Okay. Well, guys, this is the first exam with, with this. Taking in consideration that I told you, uh, this topic wasn't, it may, maybe it was difficult for you in the part of negatives and prepositions. But questions, you know how to form questions. Ah, and, 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 and sorry, the, the one of conditionals. Okay, but anyway. Okay, so let me welcome to the class Diana. Diana Yutzil. Yutzil, sorry. Hello, Diana. No microphone, Diana. No, I don't think so, microphone. Uh, maybe you can text me here, the message. All right. Um, let's pass to the second exam that is right there. Top of review. Now they are all the skills. One, two, 19. One, two, 19. The page uh, for you, Diana, is 141, in case that you have the book. Well, continue. Here are all the skills. One, again, subject and other. But we continue with the number one, okay? We, we don't separate from this skill. Only what you are doing is including more information to, more information to, uh, to the sentence. Okay, so again, again, this exam, yes, A, B, C, or D. Uh, select your best option, circle it, yes, and we check as soon as you finish. One, two, and three.
Teacher, I finish. Okay, Cesar Cruz. Let's wait up for the rest. I finished too. Brenda. Mm -hmm. I finished, teacher. I finished too. Great. So only like three more, three or two more students, and then I start checking. I finish. Great, Giovanni. George, ready, Jorge? Finish. Thank you, thank you. Yes, teacher, I finished too. Okay, so let's check then. TOEFL exam, skills one to 19. The number one, what you need is? Letter book. Book, the number one. Two, dinosaur. Three, A. Four, A. Five, dinosaur. Six, C. Seven, C. Eight, book. Nine, dinosaur. And then, book. So count the thick ones. I have seven. Excellent. My score is six out of ten. ten. Very good. Good score. Uh huh. Five. Again, what? Seven, teacher. Seven, okay. Five, I'm not. Five. Okay, you are, uh, like I told you, as long as you don't go down more, it means that you are processing the information correctly. Okay. Well, students, you already pass inversion, verb and a subject. Okay. So now you have the two forms, subject and a verb, or sometimes verb and a subject. Okay. So we include more information now to sentences. Remember the prepositional phrases. Prepositions in the middle, on the table, to the door. Okay, now these phrases, th these three phrases, yes, usually go. You have a subject, and right here is the verb. Here in the middle, 
is this prepositional phrase. Okay, now, the prepositional phrase is not the problem. One more time, is not the problem. This information is always correct. What is the problem? The subject and the verb. These are the problems. These are the problems that you need to identify, the subject and the verb. Why? Because now these two, they have to match. When I say match, it's singular with the singular, plural with the plural. Comprende? Okay. Yes? Okay, yes, so for example, for example, The keys. The keys is singular or is plural? Plural, teacher. Plural. So your verb has to be what? Plural. plural. Yes? Okay, so right here you have subject that is plural, your verb that is plural. The information in the middle is not the problem. This information is not the problem. The keys to the door were in the kitchen, yes? Always, what you need to do is that this and this matches, plural with the plural. Okay? Comprende, guys? Okay. Okay. A book is singular or plural? A book singular. Okay. So right here, you have a subject and you have a verb, okay? The subject and the verb matches, yes or no? Yes. Yes? Okay, give me a second. This information again, this information is not the problem. This information here, this information is correct. This information is always correct. What I need to check, a book. A book is singular. My subject my subject is singular, okay? My subject is singular. My verb is singular too? My yes. verb is singular too? Yes. Yes? Okay, if you say that is yes, so it means for you, let me check, let me check the subjects. I say, you have, it's plural, yes? We have, they have. This, these subjects are singular or plural, guys? Is, is, is the have, is, is, is plural, teacher. Have is plural, guys. Yes. Have is plural. This verb is plural. A book in the locker have been read is correct? No, this year is, is have. 
is what? Hat. Has, no hat. Has. 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 Yes. Has been red. So now, this and this matches. This one, no. Okay, so check students. We continue checking. We continue checking a subject and a verb. Okay, so be careful students because this is where many students, ah, me quedo un minuto chicos, se vuelven a reconectar. This is where many students don't have the precision. You have to be precise, precise. 